Hello everyone, this is Snow White with my Bigfoot Diary, Part 19. This covers December 2016. December 2nd. Hunters haven't been here since Tuesday. I went out to check things this morning and was very surprised at what I found. The meat tenderizer that they had taken November 17th was returned. And they didn't just lay it somewhere. No. They stuck it in the ground, right in front of the gifting board. It's like a friend of mine said, it would have been too boring to just put it on the board. So, why did they do that? They're just so funny sometimes. Oh, and they didn't touch the piece of glass that I put on the board either. I guess they didn't want it. I also think that it's very interesting that they obviously have stayed around, even though it's gun season. I was thinking that they probably wouldn't come up until gun season was over, when they knew that it was completely safe. This is the meat tenderizer. They stuck it in the ground, right in front of the gifting board. It's completely new. They'd never done anything like that before. Except, it does remind me of them sticking sticks in the ground. December 5th. This morning was interesting. I found all the dolls and cars on the ground except for one, the older Bigfoot doll. Now on December 4th I left him in the way the top picture shows and as you can see they knocked everything off except for that older Bigfoot doll. So this makes me ask, why did they leave just the older Bigfoot doll? Are they trying to tell me something? It seems like they are. December 7th. This morning when I checked the porch, everything was on the ground except for the girl doll. So what the heck is going on here? I wish I could figure this out, what this means. So as you can see, everything knocked off but the girl this time. December 8th. Last night I decided to put the girl doll and the older Bigfoot doll up on the railing to see if the Bigfoot would respond in any way. This morning nothing had happened, but when I got home from work at 2.45 p.m. the girl doll was laying on the ground and a weird branch was laying up against the new Bigfoot doll that was on the porch floor. Now this was how I'd left it the night before and this morning. And this is the floor of the porch. So this is how it was today when I got home from work. You see the girls on the ground and then the next picture shows the weird branch up against the new Bigfoot doll. So I have no idea what that means. But since I wasn't sure what the Bigfoots were trying to tell me, I put the girl and the older Bigfoot dolls back down on the porch with the newer Bigfoot doll and his branch. And that's how they stayed for the next four days. December 12th. This morning the new Bigfoot doll was on the ground, leaving the girl and the old Bigfoot dolls on the porch. Okay, now this is getting interesting. What are they trying to say? December 13th. This morning was quite a surprise. For the first time, they took a marble or a game piece. Well, actually two of the same color. Two dark blue ones. Now the game pieces were arranged like the top in the top picture um, since the 7th. And then today, you see the two dark blue ones were gone. And like I said, this was the first time they took, took those. Something else pretty awesome happened, too. The dice were moved. Now, they do that all the time, you might say, but what was different this time was that they moved all three dice together at the same time and flipped them over without them being separated. So that's pretty cool. The top picture is how I had left it and as you can see they flipped them all over and they didn't uh, break apart or change position. December 18th. 
This morning, the man doll was on the ground. That was all that happened. December 21st. This morning, there was a great surprise waiting for me on the board. They had brought the two dark blue game pieces back that they had taken on December 13th. But what's really cool is how they put them on the board. They took the chain that I had laying there and they looped it. Then they put the two game pieces in the loop so that they wouldn't slide off. And this is very smart because it was 25 degrees this morning and there was heavy frost on the board. So it was very slippery. So the top picture is how I had left the chain. And the bottom picture is what they did. They looped it, and they put those two game pieces in the loop so they wouldn't slide off. So this tells me a few things. One, it just it speaks to how very intelligent these creatures are. Two, even though I'd already figured this out, it's just more evidence that they do not migrate to a warmer place during the winter. And three, as has been seen time and again in this diary, they almost always return items that they take. I never intended for them to bring anything back from the very beginning. Everything that I put out was a gift for them, so if they want to keep something, that's perfectly fine with me. And it has been an added bonus when they return things because then I know for sure what happened to the item and that it was for sure them that took it. It has been one of the most exciting parts of this whole thing. The only thing that is better is when they give me an outright gift of something that I've never seen before. And when they vocalize to me when I go out to retrieve an item is just awesome. The vocalizations that I have heard directed at me when I'm just out walking around are a fantastic experience as well. I only hope that at some point they'll trust me enough to let me see them and that I'm brave enough to stick around and look. So, I think I've had a couple opportunities, but I was not brave enough. <laughs> December 22nd. Last night I put a little yellow ball out in the loop that they had made with the chain, and this morning the ball was gone. Nothing else was messed with. So that's how I left the yellow ball in the loop and it was gone. December 24th. This morning the only things messed with were the Bigfoot dolls and the girl doll. The older Bigfoot doll was moved back behind the girl doll, which is also behind the railing, and the girl and the newer doll were put at a slight angle to how they had been. So you see that they moved that older Bigfoot doll way back behind them, which is behind that railing so it's kind of hard to tell that it's but it shows better in this picture and then they angled the girl and the other one that's strange december 26th on the 24th i moved the mouse over to the board i set it on the little drain strainer thing this morning when i checked stuff the mouse was laying in the loop but the strainer was on the ground in front of the board so they'd taken it off of the strainer and put it in that loop and then apparently the strainer got knocked to the ground. On December 24th I left the game pieces as you see in the top picture. This morning the blue, yellow, and the green ones were slightly moved but the one light blue one was moved way out from the other ones. That is really interesting. I don't know why they did that. The dice were all moved a little bit, but the first one to the left was turned over one time. Also the thread was clear across the porch about five feet and was laying in the opposite direction from how the wind was blowing last night. So the bottom two pictures show uh, what happened. Today the man doll was on the ground and the girl doll was moved slightly closer to the older Bigfoot. An interesting note here, and I don't really know if this has anything to do with the man doll being on the ground for sure, but last Saturday my husband had me practice shooting the handgun that he bought me for protection against critters, not the Bigfoot, when I go in the woods by myself. 
He shot it first while I was still in the house, and then he had me go out and shoot it. Is this them showing disapproval about the, that whole situation? That was my husband's first thought when he saw the man doll laying on the ground. Now this is just speculation, but I wanted to add it in here just for the record. I had been really worried over the last few days that they would be upset with me for shooting the gun. And not a whole lot has happened since last Saturday when I shot it. But anyway, I had to go to work. So I went, but it was a short day, so I got home early at about 10.30 in the morning. I went out to check everything, and nothing had changed since earlier in the morning. So I moved the mouse and strainer over to the railing and didn't put anything else over on the board. It was just the chain laying there. So I straightened everything up, and then I went inside for the afternoon to work on the computer. It was starting to get dark, so at 5.20, I went outside to check things while I could still see. The first thing I noticed was that the mouse was turned around backwards from how I left it at 10.30. Also, one of the dice was slightly moved. So, the pictures show what I found. But the most exciting thing was what I found waiting for me when I walked around the house to the woodpile. There was a gift waiting. It is a totally clear marble. I had never seen it before, so I don't know where they got it. And when you look through it, things are upside down, like a dewdrop or a raindrop when you look through those. It was just, it was really pretty. And I was ecstatic to receive that wonderful gift. I thanked them for it from both sides of the house because I wasn't sure where they were. I held it up and I made over it, which is always what I do with their gifts. Then I took it inside. So they came up to the house between 10.30 and 5.30 during the day while I was sitting inside and they messed with stuff on the railing and they left me that marble, which is unbelievable. Sometimes I still have a hard time believing that this stuff is happening. December 28th. Last night I put out three Hershey Kisses on the board as a gift, and this morning they were gone. The mouse that was sitting on the sink strainer had been moved closer to the edge of the railing also. But again, just like yesterday, the best thing was a gift that was waiting for me, and where they put it blew my mind. They had gifted me a light blue marble, which I'd never seen before. But what blew my mind was that they put it with the two game pieces that were the same color as the marble that they gave me. I don't think this was a coincidence. And they have been putting things over on the board lately. So that's another reason that I think that the light blue marble was put with the light blue game pieces on purpose. And if you remember back to yesterday morning, they chose to move the one light blue marble out, away from the other ones. Coincidence? I don't think so. So, here's another picture of it. I just, that just blows my mind. But, as if that weren't enough, that's not all my Bigfoot were up to over the night. When I walked around the house to check the yard, I found this little masterpiece on the swing in the front yard. first thing I did was that I called my husband and I asked him if he had thrown that branch there and he hadn't. My next thought was maybe it fell out of the tree, but then I looked closer. For one thing, it's made up of three separate branches, which I didn't notice at first. Then I noticed things like the large broken end at the right is jammed up against the arm of the swing. Also the branch to the upper left wraps around the chain. Another branch in the middle is sticking out the back and in no way could have just fallen there like that. So this is the broken end that's jammed up tight against the arm of the swing. And this is the branch that wraps around the chain. And there's 
a few pictures of it here. Now this is a separate branch and it sticks out the back in such a way that it could not have fallen into that position. And when you see it from the other side, you'll see what I'm talking about. It comes through there and the one part sticks up. So there's just there's no way that could have fallen there like that. It had to be placed there. December 30th. This morning the game pieces were moved on the railing in sort of a strange way. It's like they divided the two sides and separated them a little. So the top picture you see they were evenly spaced apart and on this morning they were separated. Also the girl, <laughs> excuse me, the girl and man dolls were on the ground. So, this brings an end to 2016. What an amazing year it's been. What an incredible experience so far. Now, we're on to 2017. Thank you for watching.